Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Kedar here and today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your existing Windows 10 into Windows 11 and that is all without losing your data. So all the apps, all the, your files will remain as it is and you don't even need to create a bootable USB drive. It is a very simple installation methods. Even a child can install. It's that simple, really. So without further ado, let's get right into the process. So before we start the upgrading process, this is my Windows 10 and let me show you what is the version. So I am going into my about PC and here you can see this is my Windows 20 H2 Windows 10 Pro. So if you have this version, you can obviously do it. So yeah, any version of Windows 10 will work. Now this is the file you need to download. Links are given in the description below. This is a ISO image file. Double click on it to mount this ISO to your system. And open in the Windows Explorer. You can see this window will pop up. Now you just have to double click on the setup. And click on yes. And you can see Windows 11 installation process will begin. And after this completes, you'll get this prompt. Now click on next and it will check for updates. So as of right now, my PC has some important data as well as some apps. You can see this is a VLC player, Google Chrome, Firefox and Microsoft Edge. So uh, we'll check afterwards whether these apps are migrated in our latest Windows 11. So that will be an interesting subject. Honestly, this method is so much impressive. Even the wallpaper in your system will be migrated into your Windows 11. So it is totally worth it to give it a try if you are using a Windows 10 and you want to get it into Windows 11. So yeah, so the process has been completed. Now in order to successfully install Windows 11, you need sufficient space and uh, there are some customized setting over here. So change what to keep if you click over there. You can see if you want to keep everything, uh, please uh, select the first option. If you select the second option, keep personal files only. Only, uh, only the personal files will be kept. Apps will be deleted and nothing means a fresh installation. So I'm going to select the first one and click on next. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Now it will install the latest Windows 11 into your system. During the installation process, your PC might restart few times here and there and it will do its job but uh, just take a break, uh, take a moment and it will automatically install Windows 11. Now since this is a leaked copy of Windows 11, many people are doubting like this version might have some Trojan virus or other things like that that are not good for your personal use. So. In my next video, I'm going to, you know, uh, see if there is any virus or anything bad for you that might steal your data. Uh, results are kind of interesting. So yeah, but as of right now, you know, I'm using this um, for my testing system and it's working flawlessly. The Windows 11 is really impressive. So I'm planning to do a video on the features of Windows 11. I'm going to explore all of them in a one video. So if you are interested in that one, please do let me know in the comments down below. So I will do it. Okay, so depending on your system, it will take like five to 10 minutes or so. And here you can see pretty much my PC has done installing the Windows 11. And this is the first boot screen. You can see it is looking gorgeous. So let's unlock the PC and let's see if ha it has a Windows 11 installed successfully. So I'm just putting my password and and the moment of the truth. And so you know as usual the Windows is taking a lot of time to get the installation done. Uh, the first time it will take a long time you know guys. So there it is guys. So I skipped it all for you and this is our Windows 11. Boom! You can see our Windows 11 is up and running. Now the question comes whether it has migrated my data, apps and other things like that. So let us check one by one. So first of all, uh, let's deep dive into the Windows 11. Now here you can see my Chrome, Firefox and all the apps are right over here. 
pre-installed into my Windows 11. Also, let's check for the other stuff. So here you can see the wallpaper. It's uh, pretty much the exact one. And let's get into about my PC. And boom, here you can see this is Windows 11 Pro. And the OS build is like this. And yeah, everything is good up till this point. Going into the device manager. Let me check few things. So here I can see uh, some of my drivers are still not installed. So I might have to do that manually, but that's a relatively easy task rather than, you know, a fresh installation. As of right now, uh, this is 17 June and Windows 11 is launching on 24 June. And uh, Windows, I think Windows is planning to make this upgrade free. So you can upgrade your Windows 10 to 11 for free. So in my next video, I'm planning to check the legitness of the leaked Windows 11 copy. I'm going to check for the viruses, any bugs, any glitches or any of the insecurities that you might encounter. I'm going to check uh, in a really interesting way. So I hope you will like that video as well. So please hit that subscribe button to stay updated to our recent uploads. And this is Keda signing out. And I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.